When you're doing any type of needlework where you cut fabric threads, it may happen that occasionally you cut a fabric thread that you didn't mean to. And you might feel like uh, it's a big disaster and you have to throw away the whole piece, but that actually isn't true. You can fix your mistake and then go on like it never happened. And that's what we're going to do today. So um, what I wanted here was to have six fabric threads in between the four-sided stitch and the open area. And I have one fabric thread that I cut that I shouldn't have right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that out to the side. right until it meets the four-sided stitch on the edge. Okay, now you can see that the fabric thread that I cut that I didn't want to, I've pulled away and I pulled it right out until it meets the four-sided stitch on the side. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Just carefully with your needle, pick that fabric thread out. Now you can see that on both sides I have removed that fabric thread that wasn't supposed to be cut out to the sides where it meets the four-sided stitch. And what we're going to do now is flip the work over and work from the back. Okay, and if you take a look, I've pulled those fabric threads to the back of the work on both sides. And what I'm going to do, they're a little bit short, but what I'm going to do is thread those fabric threads one at a time onto my needle. Okay, so I've threaded one of those fabric threads onto my needle and it's too short for me to put, use the point, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the eye of the needle and slide that under some of these stitches at the back. And that secures that fabric thread underneath these four-sided stitches. And now you can see that I have secured the fabric thread from this side underneath the four-sided stitches in the same way that I did on this side. So now what we want to do is we want to replace the fabric thread all the way across with one from the edge of your work. And when you're replacing a fabric thread this way, what you want to do is use one that is running in the same direction as the one that you want to replace. So I want to replace a thread that's running this way, so I'm going to take one from the edge of the fabric on this side. And I have one here, and I'm going to thread that into my needle. And now I will secure this fabric thread in the back of the four-sided stitches. And bring it to the spot where we want to replace a fabric thread. So now what you want to do is weave back into that space. And you'll want to take a look at the fabric threads that are there. And if you've got two on one side that are going over top of a fabric thread running this way, then you wanna go underneath that one because you wanna um, keep up with the pattern of over, under, over, under in the fabric. 
So now you can see that I have woven my needle into the fabric and I'm going to pull that through so that the fabric thread that I just put in replaces the fabric thread that we took out before. And as you can see, you can almost not tell that uh, that fabric thread was ever gone. Now I've woven that fabric thread in through all of these cut fabric threads, which is a little bit difficult, but you wanna just hold on to the fabric threads as you pull the needle through. And then I've gotten to the other side where I've woven over, under, over, under again, and I'm gonna pull that through. And I'll just use my needle to push that into place. And now I will secure this fabric thread under the four-sided stitches. Pardon, pardon my hand in the way. And I'll cut that off and then we'll flip this over and we'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, uh, on the sides, it looks like that fabric thread was never gone. So that's all repaired. And it's a little bit loose in the middle here, but once you do the overcast stitches over top of that, that won't show at all. And no one but you will ever know that that thread was cut when it wasn't supposed to be.